Uh, hello and welcome to my Wolverhampton Wanderers squad builder. Um, I am on the Ultimate Team web app, which I can use to bring back players from previous Ultimate Teams uh, to use in this squad. And uh, if I'm quick enough, then I can. Uh, do substitute uh, substitute bench as well. Um, to start off with, in goal, none other than Wayne Hennessy, uh, great goalkeeper. Sad to see him injured at this moment in time. Right back we got Kevin Foley, uh, player of the season, but hasn't done anything much since. He was a an centre back. Got Jolie and Lescott, a former Wolves player, and he's gone far since leaving Wolves and. And it shows just sort of what things Wolves can come up with, as he's a very, very strong and solid defender. You you can't really have a uh, Wolves past and present squad without the the legend himself there is Jody Craddock um, he may not be as good on the game but he was a solid defender in real life and uh, an absolute Wolves legend uh, to see him to hear that he retired was quite a bad thing as we saw him as we we needed somebody like him uh, at the end of last season just to sort of straighten things out but Nobody thought to bring him in, which was which was a sad thing. At left back, we have the man that the man that Mick McCarthy signed, uh, but sadly had to go back to Belgium because of family reasons. He was a very good player for. Who, uh, for the games that he did play for Wolves, uh, sad to see him go back to Belgium, but he was a good player nonetheless. Uh, left mid, you can probably probably guess who's going to be in that position. Because... There is because the legend that is Matt Jarvis, he he did he he spent most of his career at Wolves. Well, he spent that quite a lot of years at Wolves, and he's done so much during those years. Uh, as I say, it's sad to see him go to West Ham, but he sort of he wanted Premier League football, which Wolves couldn't offer, because. Because the 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 squad, the squad just wasn't good enough, and we didn't have. We didn't have the. The mental, the, the mentals like, the morale, or just the support, to get us out of the hole that we was in, and now we're back, and now we're down in League One. And we could have done with Matt Jarvis last season. First centre mid, uh, the one and only Nenad Milias. He was he was a good player during the Premier League years. 
uh, he was sad to see him released at the end of last season uh, because he was a very good player for Wolves and he did do some ver very very vital things whilst in the squad but uh, now he's just now now he's left, gone back to Red Star Belgrade. But he's uh, he's an influ he was a very influential player nonetheless. Now this is a, a surprise to the sort of lineup. He was Wolves for three seasons, and he did he did make a make a, quite a bit of a difference. Uh, Dave Jones, we bought him from Derby for one million pounds. Now he's in the Championship with Burnley, I think it is. But he did play quite well. Um, the reason why I didn't put O'Hara in this squad is because I personally don't like O'Hara. And I can't wait to see him go, uh, as he just went on a downfall, downward spiral since, uh, since joining Wolves, which isn't really a good sign. If I can find him, yeah, Michael Kiley, um, very good player, bought for very cheap from Gray's Athletic. Um, he's been. He, he did very well during his time, uh, but now he's at Stoke. He hasn't really been played. There's been links of, uh, he's been linked to a, a return on loan, but I don't think the fans would want that, as they they they'd probably see him as a traitor. As we'll spend quite a lot of money and time uh, treating Kylie's injuries, and as soon as he got back to full fitness, he went to Stoke. Which was, which wasn't really the best of ideas if he wanted to keep the fans happy. Uh, the first striker has only just recently left. Uh, he was very, uh, very prolific in the few years that he was with Wolves, which is why he's in a. Inform card. Stephen Fletcher. He was. He was Wolves' record signing. The that's when we first signed him. I didn't think he was going to live up to the expectations, but he did turn into a very good player and a very good goal scorer. Um. But now he's at Sunderland. He wanted Premier League football, same as Kitely and Jarvis. And now he gets it. Would have liked to have seen him in a wool shirt last season. He probably would have saved us from relegation. But but he's still a Wolves legend nonetheless. Now, this is the next player I'm putting in here. He's been, he, still, he still plays, but he did play for Wolves quite, a, quite an extensive long to, ex, extended time ago. Uh, and that player is Kenny Miller. Um, he did very good for Wolves. He, uh, well, I can remember he, he scored the winning goal against Manchester United. He was a very good and very influential player for Wolves, and now he's and he's went off and and. Improved his career elsewhere. He scored against England in midweek. It was quite a good goal, showing off his Wolves pedigree. 
it was just uh, but I wouldn't really expect him to come back to Wolves as he's getting on he's a bit old now and it's sort of I wouldn't have, I wouldn't expect him to want to come back to Wolves On the bench we have Stephen Hunt. Uh, he saved us from relegation with one kick of a ball, and he was the, he was named the ninety ninety million pound goal, but he couldn't save us again. Uh, a couple of seasons later, uh, and now he's down the pecking order of Wolves. Which I, I I wouldn't see a man with his experience put out to dry like that, but we do have Sacco, and Sacco is a very good very good player. So whatever Hunt's doing, he he's gonna have a fight for his spot. Uh, also, Michael Mancian he spent about three seasons on loan at Wolves from Chelsea before he went off to play for Hamburg in Germany. Uh, quite a solid defender, and he did a decent job. Sylvain Ebanks Blake. He was he was a prolific goal scorer. He was a, he's an absolute legend for Wolves. And to see him be released, like that was a shock to me. But it's it's just the way it goes in football. Quite, a, he was a very good player and a very good goal scorer. Um, the, now the only gold player in Wolves' lineup this season. Oh no, one of three. Bakary Sacco, he just came in in last season. He was our he was our best player by a long shot. He scored goals for fun and and fair play to him if if he wants to leave. Um, it's. It's up to him, but he's a very good player. Uh, apparently, he might be switched to Nottingham Forest or Fulham, but I'd rather keep him with Wolves. He's a yeah, she's a very good player. Uh, just added Kevin Doyle. Kevin Doyle was the was our record fit transfer fee. Very good player. Very good technically. Work rate very good, but not very good at scoring goals. Marcus Hanneman is a great keeper for us. Did some, did a very good job in the back line. And finish it off, Jamie O'Hara. Even though I don't like the bloke, he did very good in his first season for Wolves. Then it sort of went downhill since then. And now the Wolves fans don't really want him there. And I can see why. Um, so... That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and...